In this video I'm going to show the assembly of the frames and the keel and the walk plank on the top of the float. I'm using these full size diagrams to get an idea of the spacing of the frames and just how this float's going to look. Here I'm starting to lay out the frames A, B, C, D and E. The float is orientated just like it would be in the water with the walk area facing up. That area has a seven and a half inch piece of plywood running the full length of the float. You can see here where I had to bend the stringers at the front of the float so I used those special clamps to hold the pieces together overnight till they dried. Because I laminated two small pieces together they're quite strong. Here you're looking at the keel area. Again that's frames A, B, C, D and E. Frame A is the front of the float. That's where the nose will be. Here you can see that seven and a half inch plywood walkway. Once I had this part of the float assembled I was quite surprised how strong and rigid it was. Again this is the front part of the float. This is about 95.5 inches long. And at the last frame, frame E, the next section will attach to it. That'll be frames F, G and H. That'll be the rear part of the float. This part of the float was easier to assemble. This is F, G and H. Pretty straightforward, just the keel and the straight stringers. There's no bending here at all. Again, the last frame there, H, that's where the rudder attaches. Shown here, I've got the two float pieces assembled. I've got the front end bolted to the rear part of the float, and now the full float is assembled. It's fairly easy to handle. Now I'm going to laminate four blocks of wood to the front end of the float and that's going to be shaped up to create the nose. I always like the frame construction of a project. I like looking at stringers and frames. It's good to see what's underneath that skin of a float. Now I'm going to show tracing out the side panels. These are full size and just one side of the float. I'm using Jumbo Trace 2018 and I've selected combination. You can see here the diagram is spread over the jumbo boards. On the top part of the diagram I've selected lines and arcs. When I'm finished here I'm going to create a DXF file. You see me running back and forth here because when I make different selections on the program for tracing, I have to go back to the computer and then I have to go back to the diagram. I'm going to take this paper copy, I'm going to cut them out, and I'm going to dry fit them on the side of the float. I just used long pins and I pinned it to the top of the plywood. I'm very pleased with the fit, it's perfect. 